Hey guys, we are going to do the top seven white magic cards. Again, my top seven takes in a lot of consideration how often the card is played, what formats is it played in, and how dominant the card is. And maybe even like for Falia would be my personal preference for playing that particular card. So number seven, Wrath of God. Wrath of God is the definition of a kitchen table card that is just fun. ED8, uh, fantastic card, resets the table, feels epic. When you play the card, you feel really good. So I wanted definitely to put the iconic Wrath of God card in my top seven. Number six, Path to Exile. You cannot leave Path to Exile out just because every white deck plays a playset of them and every deck that is not white considers splashing for white to play it. That's how powerful the card is in modern. Number five, Filia. So this is kind of personal preference over numbers. Filia I just love because it's a very unique card for a unique deck and the deck I'm talking about would be Maverick. Filia is the card you want to play on turn two in that deck. In my opinion it's what the deck builds upon and Wizard of the Coast kind of agrees with me because the two big promos are Liliana of the Veil and Filia. So interesting, right? Number four, Terminus. So Terminus and Legacy is pretty once pretty much one white every single time for Hollowed Burial. The card is insane, but also when you have card manipulation like Brainstorm, it gets even more crazy. Number three, Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls used to be very dominant in Legacy and Modern. The card just seems abusive to me, uh, but it gets good sometimes and then gets bad other times. So it's very cycle driven, but it, it's just absurdly powerful. This card number two containment priest now containment priest i have as number two just because how good it is in legacy it is definitely a legacy card it is fantastic in ed8s as well but in legacy where it can pretty much destroy a combo piece or solve an issue containment priest fantastic number one swords to plowshare not very much i need to say about this but one of the best pieces of removal I actually have it as number two in Lightning Bolt as one ever printed. Such a fantastic tempo, such a fantastic one for one mechanism, which is not really one for one because again, you're picking up tempo because you're only paying one white as opposed to even Tamagoy cost two. The card is insane and I will play it any format I can.